Hi, okay, this is just to do a demo test, just to look at the theory of using a white point cloud as opposed to a coloured point cloud. Both of these data sets have been exported from Blender using the uh, camera array plugin by Oli, and which works great by the way, thank you. But this point cloud I have replaced with one that I basically took the coloured data out, you know, basically coloured the point clouds vertex positions in. So it's basically the same data set, one with a white point cloud which is exported as per the per the um, plugin and one which is using the colour data. So if we start with the white um, and interestingly with black background checked the, f the images were actually um, using they are actually using you know transparent film in Blender so they, they, it should be it should work fine. If I turn the point cloud off and start training you'll see that the point cloud initially kind of dissolves itself um, and then it sort of struggles to kind of I guess it has to rebuild itself and uh, I think there is something in Gaussian splatting that actually it doesn't really matter what the point cloud is because eventually the Gaussian splatting algorithm will work out where everything should so it's basically doing photogrammetry itself um, but it's just a starting point for it to be able to to sling stuff at but the point I'm interested in is that initially if we reset that you'll see it just dissolves the original point cloud and actually struggles to make a cloud a coherent cloud uh, Gaussian splat sorry rather so let's just pause that one a minute whereas if we go with the color export point cloud same settings um, start training you see it's instantly it's there you know the geometry is, is, is respected nothing dissolves let's try it again see it just instantly it's correct it's it's not freaking out and having to reinvent it all um, so I think that's quite an important thing to have coloured point clouds um, you know and let's look at this within 20 seconds we're starting to get shadow details and a bit more kind of detail in there let's press pause a minute this one let's start again um, <laughs> yeah after 20 seconds we're not going to have any of that detail interestingly if I remove the black background so it's just a white point cloud and then start training it appears to be a little bit better at kind of sticking to the surfaces and not freaking out 